Man, oh man, oh man, Nation. We've been talking about this band for quite some time. In fact, I think we've talked about just about every album that they have done as it's come out, or at least shortly after. That's the band I'll say. We're talking about Shelter today, their 2014 album, which is due out here this month in January. And there are a couple of things that need to be spoken about this album and about this band before we even get into the music. And for one, it's the fact that this is a group that has gotten a significant amount of acclaim over the past couple of years. Literally ever since they kind of burst onto the scene, it was because they were able to really bring something that wasn't necessarily 100% different, but they were just blending a lot of different styles between uh, some, some real kind of uh, post-black metal ideas that went along with post-rock that kind of cavorted together and created this very beautiful... Very atmospheric, very harmonic uh, atmosphere and idea to it, and it's something that has uh, brought them significant acclaim, but not to mention it has also brought them a significant fan base and has kind of uh, helped them spearhead a movement that has already been going on prior to them coming out. However, it's kind of given the movement a lot more legs. There are definitely a couple more groups out there. Uh, these days here in 2014 that are uh, encouraged by the style and perhaps want to shape the style into their own as opposed to whenever I'll say first began. Now, admittingly speaking, there were many individuals, many reports that were coming out that were saying that with Shelter, this was going to be Alsei moving in a bit of a different direction, in a bit of a softer direction. And I think immediately this gave some people uh, a little bit of worry, a little bit of concern that perhaps this meant this this was going to be an album uh, completely and totally devoid of anything that was reminiscent of some of their earlier works that did incorporate a little bit of the, uh, the growling and the black metal style vocals and uh, some of the more aggressive uh, sonoscapes that really were the uh, one of the focal points of their first couple of albums and something that gave people, uh, early fans, a nice blend between uh, one style and another. And a lot of people were thinking that this was something that perhaps would just happen on a couple of songs rather than be on the course of the entire album. Well, I'm here to tell you that this is eight tracks, 45 minutes in length, and this is definitely that soft album as far as that's concerned that individuals were maybe dreading, maybe talking about, whatever it may be. This is something that is... Uh, 100% clean sung. This is something that has a uh, definite softer, softer musical background to it. Something that is more uh, more tailor-made for post-rock, more tailor-made for an atmospheric environment. Something that has a lot more progressive element uh, to it and a lot more quality toward really going for the beautification of the song. Going for uh, a very pleasing, almost a very atmospheric uh, style of harmony, something that could definitely lead to many different emotions that are conveyed, and definitely a lot of emotions are conveyed on this record. We got our first taste of this album uh, just a couple of days ago with the uh, with the track Shelter, I believe, uh, and this was certainly one that gave us kind of a window into what this album could potentially be all about. It kind of uh, confirmed a lot of those fears for some individuals that this was going to be very soft, it was going to have a lot of, of real harmonic quality to it, it was going to be based a lot more on just straight up songwriting and atmosphere building rather than it being... 100% uh, all about blending that aggressive edge with the calm and beautiful atmospheric edge. Now, whenever you listen to the remainder of the album, whenever you listen to the album as a whole, you're going to start to notice that that was not just a snapshot of one song or just a snapshot of one side of this album, whereas the other snapshot, the other side, was going to come with the tracks that we hadn't heard yet. Instead, it was a snapshot of what the album was going to be as a total and complete whole, because this is certainly an album that really incorporates that shelter style throughout the entirety of the album, and this is something that is wonderful. It is wonderful because of a couple of different reasons. That aggressive side, well, I'm not dismissing that whatsoever. I'm not saying that that aggressive side is a weakness that the uh, this band possesses because it certainly isn't. Whenever you get those two elements combined, what it does, at least compositionally, it gives you the opportunity uh, to really blend a lot of notions together, to blend a lot of ideas together, and you really don't have any sort of pigeonhole that you have to, you know, always remain, you know, very you know, prominent in. It's not something that you have to stay with in order order to uh, really have yourself a, a trademark song or that or a song that's easily identifiable as you. This is something where they were able to kind of move outside the horizons a little bit. It kind of gave them that whole feeling where they could easily blend an Agalox uh, style rhythm or a vocal pattern along with something that you might hear from a, a post-rock band such as a Sigur Rós or an Explosions in the Sky. 
the combination style here, the effort that you see here, is in the fact that they are focusing a lot more on this album with the uh, the beauty and the emotion that's kind of attached with it. This is something where the uh, the emotion does not have to be driven, the angst doesn't have to be driven by that aggressive style of vocals. This is instead something that can be driven by the music that surrounds it, whereas the vocals kind of paint the picture uh, as far as uh, on, a, on a literal sense. Uh, in order to present the entirety of the uh, the story that's being told uh, throughout each track on this album. The one thing that I will say, the picture that is painted for me whenever I hear this album is, uh, there's a lot of uh, ideas of hope that come to mind. There's a lot of ideas of of grace. I, I kind of, whenever I listen to this band, always had this idea that I was kind of walking through a landscape, walking through uh, a, a naturistic environment, you know, walking through an environment that doesn't have a lot in the way of, you know, towns, cities, structures. This is something where I, I'm principally 100% in either a forest or in a meadow. I'm in some sort of environment that involves nothing but nature, nothing but me being one with the nature that surrounds me. And kind of the emotions, the feelings, everything that is driven inside of my head as I view some of these different ideas. Because sometimes you don't just view ideas, you don't you look at things as meadow, you don't look at things as tree, you don't look at things as grass or moss or rock. You instead look at it as a symbol of desolation, as a symbol of true aloneness, as a symbol of hope, as a symbol of resilience. A symbol of nature itself toughing out the braveness of the elements that have been presented by its mother. This is something that is 100% represented on this album once again, and the soft vocals actually add a nice picturesque addition to all of these things, giving it the added element of kind of softness and uh, resident beauty that it really is kind of in demand for, and kind of this is something that makes tracks like this all the more splendid. I really have to give props to the 10 minute final track Deliverance for really delivering a fantastic ride by itself. Just whenever you think it's over at around the 7 minute mark and it's sort of just going to fade in the dusk, it returns back with that familiar end riff that really does offer a lot of uh, a lot of different ideas. There's almost an idea of loss that you get from some of the uh, uh, of this outro, but also one of silent redemption. There's a lot of different things that you can easily factor out of this, and really the best part about this is that, granted your mood, granted what you're imagining, granted the things that are going through your mind as you're listening to this album, that is going to really base a lot about what you are thinking about and what all of this seems to mean. Perhaps the picture that you get whenever you listen to this album is different than the one that I get. And you're not necessarily seeing a a nature scene. You're not necessarily being one with the nature or the earth that surrounds you. Perhaps this is one where you see it as being alone in a city full of millions. Perhaps you see this as being uh, one with the entire universe. Perhaps this is one where you see yourself in the said universe, perhaps in space, floating around and each song perhaps representing a new planet that you see and the different surroundings and the different feeling, the different emotions that are conveyed by seeing these these very alien landscapes. I really dig this album. I like the way in which albums like this are able to make me think uh, on a very, you know, not, not just an objective basis or a subjective basis, but also it causes me to think further along. It's something that traditionally whenever something makes me overthink, I'm not necessarily that responding to it because it's something that I do naturally. So obviously that's something I tend to want to avoid considering my own mind can be a very strange place. However, albums like this that kind of give me that experience of thinking with a little bit more of an out-of-body element, you know, a little bit more of an existential element, one where I'm kind of a little more aware of a landscape that surrounds me, even if it's not the one that, you know, physically surrounds me always a really neat experience, always something that really drives the point home for me that music really does take us wherever we want it to go. I have to give this album a strong, strong score. I have to give this an 87 out of 100. I almost reverted back to the old style uh, of rating. I, there's not much that I really see to be uh, wrong with this disc. The one thing that I will say is that while I do enjoy the softer element, while I do find it to be absolutely beautiful, I don't want to see that harsh or that aggressive tone completely and totally abandoned on future releases. I think this is something where you can easily represent a lot of different things with that tone, and if it's something that's only used once or twice an album, if that, it's definitely something that would be welcomed uh, on future releases. I do enjoy the fact that uh, this was an idea that was kind of spawned, conceived, and brought full circle, uh, but at the same time, I do believe that it, it did feel like it was missing a little something. 
So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Check out Shelter. This is a fantastic disc. This is certainly one not to own just on CD, but also to order on vinyl. I, I, I definitely highly recommend that. I really think that albums like this are best really listened to on a, uh, a turntable, uh, on, a, uh, on some wax, because it's just... Th these are the, the real landscape pieces that really this kind of hobby is built for. So, what did you guys think of this album? What's your favorite track? What's your score of it? Leave me know, or <laughs> let me know in the comments below. I'm coming down, you can tell. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.